hi guys welcome back okay so today um, I'm making something in the kitchen today I'm making kaklo it's kind of like fritters similar to fritters um, it's made with overripe plantain flour and some other bits that you add to it so I'm gonna do that again please listen to me I don't measure anything so I'm just gonna do this I've made kaklo how many times have I made kaklo I can't remember I can't remember but usually I'm kind of hit and miss with it because I don't measure anything and I go by eye and I go by feelings so I'll just see how it goes on so I've got all my ingredients here so this is my plantain here these are not that ripe in fact you should use the ones that are like really really black but these ones that I've got here are like they're a bit yellow but they actually feel really really soft I'm suspecting that some of them are just a little bit bruised um, but obviously when you use the blacker that you use them the sweeter that they'll be so I'm just gonna do it with this anyway uh, just because these are too soft for me to actually fry cut and fry because I don't like my plantain that that soft because I find that when the plantain is that soft it just kind of like soaks up too much oil and I just find it's too oily. I used to be able to eat it like that, but I can't now, I'm a bit more particular. So I prefer, if I'm gonna fry plantain, I'll fry it and it's much more yellow, harder, so it doesn't take in as much oil. So I'm just gonna do the kaku with these. So yeah, that's my risk basically. My risk is that the plantain is not that ripe. And I know if I don't do them today, I'm not gonna have a chance because tomorrow and all the other days I'm out. So I decided to do it today. Otherwise they will go to waste and they'll go in the bin. So I'm just gonna use them as they are anyway. And ah, see what happens, eh? Life is an experiment. My kakalo is also gonna be an experiment. So let's see. Okay, so right now I'm just um, cutting, I'm gonna start by cutting my onion. I'm only gonna use half an onion because I think, I feel like a whole onion will be too much. So I'm just gonna use half an onion here. I'm using a yellow onion today. I'm not really sure what the difference is, uh, if there even is a difference between a yellow onion and a red onion, I'm not sure. But I know that the red onions, those bad boys really do make you cry. If you wanna get tears, red onions, definitely your friend. The yellow ones don't seem as potent to the eyes, but I don't know if there's like a flavor difference. I don't really notice. So anyway, I'm just gonna cut these onions up nice and small. I should really grate them. In fact, why am I not grating these? I should really grate them. That would probably be so much easier. Uh, I'm not sure where my grater is. I have got a grater some. Don't worry. I've started, so I'll finish. Woo! And the eyes are going. The eyes are starting to go. Yes. But this is nothing compared to the red onions, man. Red onions. I'm just gonna start opening up my plantain here. And then once I've done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just crush them with a fork. So I'll just use a fork to kind of mash them up a bit. Some of these plantains, you can blatantly tell they have been force ripe or they've just been somehow bruised because the whole thing is not completely um, ripe. Some of it is just kind of like, some of it feels a bit firm and some of it feels really soft. So they've been forced right or they've been bruised, I'm not sure. Um, they didn't feel like this yesterday, so I'm not sure. They've gone really soft overnight. Okay, so I've got my plantain in there. Like I say, I've said so many times already, I'm repeating myself one more time. These are not the best way to do it. You should use plantain that is much more ripe than that. But if I don't do this today, I'm not gonna get a chance to do it. So I'm literally just going to kind of like mash these up with a fork so that you get like a lumpy consistency so I can't be bothered and I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna use a, a hand blender to do a little bit of the work for me yeah I just got the blender to help me out a bit just to make it a little bit here we go yeah Hi. Yeah? Are you just saying hello? Huh? You calling me? No? This is another thing. See, I've got to hurry up because, you know, children only give you a certain amount of time. So anyway, this is what my plantains look like at the moment. This is just slightly blended. I didn't want to over blend it because you don't want to make it like, you know, like um, cake batter. You don't want it to be like that. You want it to have the lumps. So I didn't want to do it too much. So I'm just going to do it a little bit more with the fork just to make sure I've got most of the big bits just kind of crushed into lumps now i am missing a major ingredient guys like seriously i am missing ginger but i wasn't going to let that stop me and i was feeling too lazy to go out and get ginger so i'm gonna give the ginger a miss this time and i'm just gonna do it like that 
Um, fresh ginger is the best, really. Yes. All right, so I'm um, just about to add the chopped onions that I had from before. Put in a little bit of that. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add, obviously, some flour, which I just, I just dumped some in a bowl here. So I'm just gonna add that to the mixture as well. I have no idea if I'm adding too much or too little. So you guys that are pros out there, you can let me know. Is that too much, am I adding too much flour? for the amount of um, plantain that I've got. I think I use six, six plantains, I think. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I'm going with. I've done these before and last, the last time I did it, I put too much flour and I just felt like it was too doughy and not enough plantain-y. That's even the words, plantain -y, yeah. So I don't want to put as much flour in this time. So I'm just giving it a nice, really, really good mix. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt as well. I'm just going to get some salt. Now, um, my favorite salt, my favorite salt is actually sea salt. I don't know if you guys have ever bought sea salt from Ghana before. I really, really love it. And it's so cheap to buy. The only thing is that you have to crush it. And when I'm crushing sea salt and I'm using this thing, yeah, this electric thing that you just and sort of, I'll be here all day like the way the salt comes out I'll be here all day and I don't have time for that so um, I'm having to use the regular shop bought fine salt at the moment okay so this is my sea salt um, I have probably used about a third a third of the bag actually probably about a third of the bag and this bag is really really big and it's really cheap it's like five cities i'm trying to take out some of the sea salt so you can see inside i don't know if that's ridiculous or not but you know it's sea salt it's sea salt so um yeah i always prefer to cook with that i just think it's so so much nicer um and it gets rid of all the what am i trying to say i just feel like it's more healthy than using the regular table salt i just i don't know i just trust this one more so i prefer it so that's what i use I'm just going to put this somewhere else because I can't bother to lift it all the way up. I'll just put this in. And then I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. Now, usually when I do this, I use the um, fresh peppers, but I don't have any today. But I have this powdered one that I... You know you buy it in the shop and it comes like this. They come in like little bags. And sometimes you wonder what is in that bag. But anyway, this one's pepper. This is definitely pepper because last time I used it and I used too much. And my um, the children could barely eat. I feel like the pepper kind of adds another flavour as well, which is quite nice. You only need a tiny bit of that stuff, it's really, really fiery. Um, that's basically the mixture done, it's really, really easy. So you just want your onions, your flour, um, a little bit of salt. Ginger should have gone in there, like I said, but I don't have any ginger. I should have heated up my oil already, but I haven't. Yeah, um, yeah, ginger really should have gone in it as well for another bit of flavour, but I haven't got it. And because I'm so pressed for time, I just decided to do it without it. So this is my first time making it without ginger. So let's see what happens. Half time. This is called the half time break dance. Waiting for my oil to get hot so I can do the frying. Frying, frying. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is um, I'm just going to start to fry some of these and you hear it's popping so right here you can see my cackle is frying away there um, so when you when you put the oil on, you don't want your oil to be too hot because otherwise the outside will obviously cook and the inside will not be as well cooked. So I've not put my fire on too high. And I've decided to use a fry it deep this time because usually when I fry it, I would fry it in a um, frying pan, so a shallow frying oil. But sometimes um, I find that the kakalo comes out like a little bit flat. I don't know. So I've just decided to deep fry it this time and just, yeah. Just deep fry it and see what happens, so. Oh. oh, you can see that they've actually started to rise now as well. They've lifted themselves up out of the oil. I haven't put too many in at once because I didn't want them to kind of like stick. 
and I wanted them to have enough space so this is the first lot and obviously I have lots more to do here as well my mixture's here so I've got loads to go so I'm just going to be doing that while I'm waiting obviously I've just got this little basket thing which came with a which is actually for a rice cooker but I use it for everything so I've just put some tissue in here to, so that when I take out the kakalu from the fire and put it onto here, it will soak up some of the oil because obviously I'm deep frying it and I don't need that much oil. So I want it to absorb away some of the oil. Oh, and um, I just have to say for those of you, because someone asked this and I thought actually, I probably didn't say anything, but this is not the kitchen obviously that we've done for the new house. This is the old kitchen that I'm in. And this is the one that if you have seen my video where I talked about my kitchen nightmare, um, this is the kitchen nightmare that I'm in at the moment. We are still currently in it. And we have no desire to change this kitchen until we have finished upstairs um, and then we'll come downstairs and reconfigure the downstairs um, spaces. But so right now we're just living with this kitchen, which whenever you open the door, it's like, <coughs> kind of like when you open the doors and stuff and it's not painted or anything like that so please this is not the new kitchen this is really not the new kitchen it really isn't um i would be very disappointed if this was the new kitchen so um yeah i just thought i should share that with you guys they're actually coming out quite nice they're nice turning a nice golden brown color so i'll just let them get a bit darker before i take them out but yeah it's coming along nicely um I did put the heat up a little bit more because it's going to take too long otherwise. Okay, so I've just taken the first set out from the fire and this is it here. Um, I'm going to break into one in a second so you can, guys can see the inside, but they're way too hot and I'm not about to burn my fingers off again. So I'll just let this cool down for a few minutes before I show you and I'm just going to put another batch into the fire while I'm waiting. It's been approximately 30 seconds since I said what I said crack open into this it's very very hot so I'm actually gonna cut it because it's, it's too hot Ooh. okay anyway so this is the inside you can see it's I don't know if you can see the smoke coming out but it's really really hot I'm just keeping an eye on those ones in there. They're about to come out. Final verdict, I have obviously been eating some of this. Final verdict, um, it's actually really, it's actually really nice. I think the ginger obviously would have helped it with a little bit more flavor, but it's there. The outside is nicer and like, it's got like, I don't know, it kind of like it's a little bit sticky, isn't it? But not sticky as in a horrible sticky, but you know when plantain is very ripe, it becomes a bit sticky. So it's got that on the outside. The inside is very, very soft. So I'm gonna have to pull these out. I'm just going to put another batch in very quickly. Okay, so I've put some more in and that's it. So yeah, as I was saying, back to the, the kaklu. Very nice. Um, yeah, came out perfect. I think I used exactly the right amount of flour. So it's not too jobby and it's not too plantainy. The only thing is that if the plantains were a little bit more ripe, there would probably be a little bit more sweetness to it. But I'm very good with this. So yeah, I just got finished. The rest and that's it but anyway guys if you haven't already subscribed please hit the subscribe button for me hit the notification bell don't forget to also do me a favor and like comment and share this video i would really really appreciate it until next time i am out guys naughty